my microphone on. Yeah. Hey, it's me. Today, I am doing kind of a part two. I did a video recently called Art Things to Do When You're Bored at Home. And you guys really, really liked it a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you haven't seen that video yet, that's a prereq. Go watch it and then come back. You must come back. Please come back. Hi! I'm gonna be giving you a list of things you can do when you're bored at home if you like to do creative. Creative. If you like to do creative activities. Um, and I'm gonna be demonstrating them for you. Hopefully, one of these will sound appealing to you and you will no longer be bored. That's the idea. I've got my trusty clipboard with me. It really clashes with my outfit. Okay, number one. Make stickers out of puffy paint. <laughs> Does this sound lame to you? Well, maybe it is, but I enjoy it. So I guess that makes me lame. Um, but the cool thing about this is if you have puffy paint laying around, that's basically all you need, friend. I have three drawers dedicated to this crap. So, you know, it's a big part of my life and I love it. Let's go get them. <laughs> And you will need a flat plastic surface. Ideally clear plastic. Also paper. Also a writing utensil. Also creativity and boredom. This is like a plastic plate that I used in college for some sort of printmaking project. And I haven't used it since, but I've held on to it. Look at that! Hoarding is good! <gasps> I'm gonna add one more thing. These. It's puffy paint, but there's multiple colors in one container. They're called twisters, not just these. I bought all these too. It looks like some of them have already started to mix. I'm excited. <laughs> so, take a piece of paper. <laughs> and what I want you to do is just draw out some real simple stuff. Simple. <laughs> Take the plastic, set it over top. I'm gonna just tape this down. We are gonna color in the shapes on top of the plastic. Ready, go. They're done. Is it super sophisticated art? No, 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 it's not. They're pretty blobby. They're a little derpy. But to be honest, I really enjoyed this. Seeing the glossiness of the paint and the bright colors, and I just really got into it. It was just nice. This is gonna take forever to dry, so have fun waiting for that. The flower is real ugly, real ugly. I was kind of using it to test out the different twistable colors. Once these do dry, you can peel them up, which is moderately satisfying and then the back is just sticky enough to hold on to something I don't know you can put them on the window or on any kind of like non porous surface it doesn't leave any residue behind it's just a nice little little thing I don't know okay I just made this up I don't know if anybody else does this but highly enjoyable for me next take artsy photos this can occupy you for hours all you need is your cell phone you walk around you take photos of things, maybe not just mere selfies. Take close-up shots. Everything has potential. Capture something. So to get into the mindset, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Yes, these are my glasses. Yes, I painted my case. Do I look like a pretentious photographer yet? Let's go adventure. Done. Apologies. You know, I actually got some interesting photos though. <laughs> Next, try abstract painting. Okay. Abstract painting can be a very fun thing to do when you're bored because it's completely mindless. 
I think it's supposed to be my last one. If abstract painting is already your thing, then this isn't gonna be a great suggestion. But for most of us, abstract painting is not something that we do all that much. I have a canvas, a palette knife, paint, ow, and more paint. This has plastic on it. So I'm gonna take that off. Not just supposed to work on top of protective plastic. Only an idiot would do that. I really have no tips for how to do this. I don't even really know what I'm doing. Wow, this paint has never been opened. What? I think I've had this for like three years. What the heck have I been doing? That's kind of the beauty of abstract painting. You know, there are no rules. You just kind of do and see what happens. Please don't drop it. Here's my work of art. I actually really like this. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it looks really freaking cool. The paint is just so thick and it's so beautiful. Oh, it's like yummy. It's just so thick, so thick. And the colors and the way they blend and mm, it's glossy, it's beautiful. I like it. I would totally do this again. I don't know if it's good or not. Does anyone really know how to tell if an abstract painting is good or not? I don't, I don't think so. I like it. If you're gonna do like the palette knife kind of thing, you want a paint that's thick. Thick, and it's gonna hold its shape. You don't want like some watery paints. These are not that expensive. I'll link them in the description if you don't want to spend a ton of money on paint, but you want like a good quality texture. Thick. But anyway, what's next? Stickerify something. Pretty simple concept. We just uh, get some stickers and put it on something. I feel like everyone's got that neglected sticker collection. So many stickers. For what? It's time to use them. I have these two containers of stickers. I got this from a hotel. It was what they put the snacks in. Oop. Anyway, let's do it. Change of plans. I am not liking how the overlapping thing is going. It's not perfect and I don't like it. But at the same time, I don't want this red showing through as the background color. So I got my duct tape and you know what's happening now. Finally, this thing is a different color. If only this box had been blue, pink, or purple to start out with, then we wouldn't have had to spend all that time doing this. Outside's blue, inside's pink, and then it has like a purple trim. It looks a hot mess, but um, it took me so long, so let's just pretend that it looks good. Goodbye duct tape and good riddance. Remember what we are here for. We're here for the stickers. So let's do that. Okay, this freaking box is done. I thought this was gonna be one of the quick ones. So I have a storage bin covered in duct tape with stickers on it, so that's good. I think I'm gonna put my Squishmallows in it. Okay, moving on. Do, make, try digital art. Digital art. For some people, that's your main thing. You do it all the time. For a lot of people, digital art, I feel like is something that you kind of forget to do, or maybe you've never tried it before. I'm gonna be using <laughs> a big fancy digital drawing tablet, but you don't need one of these. If you have an iPad, you can do it. So I tried to keep most of the ideas with things that are like household objects, but this one isn't really. Nevertheless, it might be fun to watch. 
The only thing that I really use this for is for designing my merchandise. I don't ever just sit down and make art digitally. This would be a great way to spend some time doing something that I don't ordinarily get a chance to do. If I could just, just hold on one sec. Dang it, all my plugs are full. Ink? Let's make some digital art. So I'm using Illustrator to do this. It was nice to take a little break from all the messiness and it's so easy to just lay your things and move things. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. It's so cute. I should do this more often. Moving along. Fill in a color theory chart. That sounds exciting. Looks like she's hiding in my shirt. <laughs> Hello. Okay, um. <clears throat> if you're a person who maybe gets confused about how to make certain colors, if you don't know how saturation works, hints and shades, which colors do what I make secondary this color or that? versus tertiary colors, then make Maybe this will be helpful for you. Let me bring in my computer. If you like my decals, you can find them on my shop. I found a resource online with a color theory chart. Download it and print it out. If you have cardstock at home, try to use that. I have to put cardstock in the printer. Oh, okay. And print. We have that. We need a paint palette. It has to be dirty. Paint water, paint brush, paint stirring stick, and the paint. Oh, this is kind of pixelated. Can I put up with that? Let it go. Just let it go. I'm gonna let it go. The exercise will still work for education. So all we have to do from here is just fill out the chart. That's it. This actually took a really long time. I started out super neat and then progressively got more and more careless and messy. But if you've never done this or anything like this before, it is super helpful for understanding color. It might make more sense when you actually just do it. Yeah. We can move on now. Do an art challenge. You've seen these art challenges. You know the ones. We got the three color challenge, blindfolded art, speed drawing. There's more and they just get weirder. If you've seen people do these challenges but never tried one, uh, you know, go for it. It's a good way to spend your time. I don't think I've done blindfolded artwork. <laughs> so let's do that. I'm using some little markers. I am just going to have these colors here. Should be able to tell which color is which with a blindfold on, but we'll see. Okay, stay. Ah, oh, I'm gonna try to draw something that I've drawn a million times. Cupcake. <laughs> And you are not going anywhere, my friend. Here's my blindfold. Because I'm seven. Here we go. Cupcake liner. Oh, I'm already lost. Here's the cake. And here's the frosting. I think the end pen is brown. Crap, I have no idea where it is. I'm gonna go for a pink cupcake liner. Oh, I can feel the wetness of the marker. I think this is blue. This should be red. Okay, I think I'm done. Hey! You know what? 
Wow, it's bright. That's actually not that bad. Come on, come on, come on. It's a style, it's a look. I am keeping it. I'm even gonna sign it. Bam, signed it. I kind of even like the green icing, not gonna lie. What's next? To make an artistic slime creation. If you thought that making slime wasn't an artistic activity. Slime, slime is not art. Well, it can be. You can make it artistic, you can be creative with it. Maybe you think it's stupid, maybe you're getting all judgmental right now. Give me a chance here. Slime isn't my primary hobby, it's not. <laughs> but I do enjoy doing it every once in a while. Let me get my ingredients. Got bowl, glue, clay, activator, colorant. I don't know. Dye. There we go. Dye. Rolling up my sleeves. We start our beautiful artistic creation with a lot of white glue. Wow, that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm gonna take my activator. If you're not a slime expert like me, ah! you can use other activators. I'll put them on the screen after I look them up. <laughs> but I like this stuff because it's easy. Boo, 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 pouring that in. Can I give that a stir? Beautiful sounds. Just lovely. My face always starts itching the moment I get my hands dirty. This is a sign that it's not activated, so it still needs more. Should activate it just enough so that it's not sticking to your hands. Now, where's the art? I have six plastic bags. Yes, they've already been used. I reuse plastic bags, leave me alone. And I'm gonna separate our big slime glob into six, six, six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, just resting. Now I'm gonna color them. Murder. <laughs> I am gonna put on gloves because I don't want my hands to be dyed. Here we go. Hold on, girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say. I'm going to add a little bit of clay. You should hear it. Oh, I'm happy to make time for your feelings. Let's just break it down until the disco ball pops and everyone can see your anger is misplaced. Step one, we make the slime. Done. And then we mix the slime in a satisfying way. And then it's like putty that you can play with after. But the whole process, that's, that's what it's about. Look at that, it's a beautiful slime rainbow. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, tell me that wasn't satisfying. Tell me. That was an amazing experience for me. I loved it. Yes, at the end, you're left with kind of a pukey color if you mix a lot of colors together. It's still fun to play with. If you're concerned about the end result looking pretty, then just only mix colors that look good together. Ooh, it looks like candy. It's so pretty. So now those colors mix to make kind of a light orange. A lot prettier than this. And finally, I'm gonna mix the cool colors together. It's like a colorful ribbon of loveliness. So this one made kind of a grayish blue. Not bad. Light denim. It's better than barf. The important part is we had a good time and it was satisfying as heck. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> the few times I have done slime on my channel, some people get triggered because whatever you create gets destroyed, but yes, that's kind of the nature of slime. Part of the creation process is destroying it and mixing it together. You know what? I think I had even more fun with this group of activities than I did in the last video. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I hope that you guys enjoyed these activities. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.